Hi, and thanks for tuning in to my tutorial on how to transform your PAR56 lighting cans into a 9 watt dimmable LED version. Now, they won't be as bright as your 300 watt original halogen light, but for under $20, I'll take you on a short trial to decide if they can do the task that's right for you. Okay, so first up, this is the original 300 watt halogen bulb. There it is there. These things are super hot and super bright, and that is really hot. Okay, on the far side here, this is your 9 watt LED. Quite bright, it'll do the job for any small shows and no heat whatsoever. Beautiful. Also, we've trialled an 11 watt LED. This one here. So this one's about 1150 lumens. Cost 42 Australian dollars. Mm, not a bad light. Back to the 9 watt. 850 lumens. $13. I know where I like to spend my money. So, let's go out the back and I'll show you the conversion process. So, if you too would like to convert your PAR56 lights for... $13. You may have to spend a little bit more just to buy some other materials, but under 20 bucks. Let's go. Okay, firstly, to purchase the new 9 watt LED that's going to replace your 300 watt halogen bulb, that's probably already blown, um, I recommend this 9 watt version right here. So this is the type of bulb I recommend. This is the 9 watt off the shelf dimmable LED. It comes with a 90 centimeter lead already attached. It has uh, three interchangeable light settings at the back. There's the mounting springs in the back. And they just click into place. I'm using the same type of LED that I had installed in my kitchen because I was blown away by the brightness. Inside the box there's some mounting instructions. Always read the instructions on the type of light that you buy as sizes may vary. Secondly, get some automotive Cori that will house the light cord afterwards. Now composite steel. If you're not familiar with composite steel it's basically a nylon type sheet with aluminium on either side. It's strong, lightweight and heat resistant. Perfect for the job. Now the LED produces a very small amount of heat. Not much. So if it's installed in a ceiling Legislation states that no insulation should be around the base of the LED. It's an install standard. Okay, first and foremost, before we start, is make sure the light is unplugged from the power source. Great idea. Okay, okay. let's start converting. All right, we're going to have to get some tools together, some dividers, a flat file, a round file, a square for measuring, a clamp, and a drill with a 10mm drill bit. Also, not to forget, the jigsaw for cutting the composite steel. Try to get yourself a metal cutting blade with thin teeth. I've got one with a wood blade. It just takes out bigger chunks. But, you got to make do with what you got sometimes. Okay, next... Remove the back casing of the lighting can. Now, inside, pull some of the wires out, have a look. You'll see that the earth wire is attached to the back casing, so we need to remove that. Also, here's the wire clamp which holds the old bulb in place. We're going to use that for the uh, 
for the mounting plate once we've um, put that in. Okay, where's my pliers? Need some pliers. Here we go. Get it onto the nut. Loosen it. Now you can use your fingers to undo the earth wire. Earth wire is not really required in the new setup. It's a two core plug. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, now we've got the earth wire off. We just take the pliers and cut the brown and the blue wire. Now we can pull the hole, pull the wires out of the hole. And that little steel wire there, that's the one that holds the back um, casing so you can't drop it whilst changing bulbs and messing about like we are. So we'll leave that in place. Next up, grab some of the dividers and we want to mark about a 160 millimeter hole. Using the ruler, 81 millimeters. Now, mark a nice clear hole on the steel. Use the black side so it's easy to see the line. Okay, small little mark still in the center. Reset the dividers at 45 millimeters. The instructions were I believe a 90 millimeter hole for the LED light. So 45 millimetres there. First of all, clamp the job to the bench. Okay, so now it's time to drill the hole in the centre of the mounting plate. Sometimes these clamps do get in the way of the jigsaw whilst cutting, so use two clamps. Drill the hole through. Grab the jigsaw. Now that's done, remove it from the bench. Time to give the, the, the rough edges a bit of a file. Now use the round file for the inner circle. It's never going to be seen. The light will clamp in there nicely. Turn it over. To the other side as well. Okay. 
Now, use the uh, flat file on the outer circle. Alright, next is to cut out a small section for the side bolt on the inner light. Usually about 10 to 12 millimeters is sufficient to get past. So we just notch out a series of small cuts with the jigsaw. Like thus. Now grab the square file and just remove any any burrs and sharp edges there. Okay. Do the other side. Okay, that's good enough. Installing the LED light into the mounting plate. Place the lead through the hole. Holding the spring clamps in position. Feed both through at the same time. Transfer, keep holding. Now let them go. sitting nice and flat. Now we place into the can. You'll see the side bolts where the clamp handles are um, mounted on there. Now this is the trickiest part of the operation. Um, so you get one end under the bolt and if you can see there, the notch out section goes through the other side bolt. Now putting the clamp in position, get it through the wire cable. It's a little bit fiddly. should be able to hold the wire clamp together with the thumb handles there squeeze it to reduce the diameter and push it hard up against the mounting plate as fast as you can there it is locked in that can't go anywhere okay we're nearly done let's put the wire cable through the hole in the back of the cover of the light feed that through now put the little locating bolt in position click into place now we're done one final step to go. Okay, the two core wire plug. It's very thin, so this is where we put the automotive curry on. The curry comes with a little slit in the side, which we just want to push over the cord. It's a little bit tricky once again. I like to sort of grab it at the plug in and then try and slide it over and hopefully it follows the core all the way in. Push it in all the way in so it fits tied up to the connection of the LED. Now we've got to try and just wedge the remaining part of the cable into the housing until we get all the way up to the end of the plug. Mm. 
It's a little bit tight, but just keep persisting. It'll go. It will go in there. Hard at the end of the fitting. Now, grab some scissors and cut the corrugated casing. Push the last bit in. There you have it. As we say in Australia, Robert's your dad's brother. Ready to go. There you go. Plugged in. Working. Nice bright white light there. Going again. Is a beautiful thing. Okay, and back on the tree. Okay, time to put the gel in. And now for dimming. Okay, so that completes my tutorial on how to transform your old PAR 56s into a 9 watt dimmable LED. Now it should work the same for on a PAR 64, you may have some different uh, sizes of the plate. So thank you for tuning in. Bye now.